think it's such a sketchy spot to do it. <laughs> Coming at you with another video, boys. Uh, we're making another titanium shoe video today, which I don't even know if that even made any sense to you guys, but I brought our good old titanium that sticks to the uh, bottom of your shoe. We're gonna make another video just because uh, the last video was kind of like a mix between both. It wasn't like a, I wanted to make just a video of this with me actually, me and uh, Bash, my stunt teammate, uh, actually throwing some combos down and stuff. I have a brand new tire too, so I don't know how that's gonna go. I. I'm pretty sure I lowered the air down quite a bit. I'm running a pretty low status air uh, air pressure. I think I, I don't even know because I don't have an air gauge. But uh, feels like I'm running probably about 15 right now. Which if you guys don't know, when you put a brand new tire on a motorcycle, usually if you're just a normal A to B rider, you won't notice anything you to you it's gonna feel way better and it's gonna grip really good so that don't matter to you but for us in the stunt community it's a big deal it's a, it's a really big deal especially if you ride streets going straight with a brand new tire the tire is like so hard still and it hasn't really molded down that it'll cause you to just pretty much you have no balance uh but i'm on my way to meet bash right now and we're gonna uh, I'm gonna split them from the pack and we're gonna make this video for you guys and explain to you more in depth what this is And I will put a link in my bio And I'm gonna make an Instagram video, which is something I haven't done in a while I don't really get on my Instagram as much anymore because I'm putting all my time and resources and any Any extra time I have is going strictly to my YouTube So there's that boys like there they are There they are What up? What up with it? Hey! Thank you! He got, he's the one that mounted my tire. I got a brand new tire. Brand new. I don't even know how. Ah! Yeah, I feel all over the place right now. <laughs> I feel all over the place, boys. Why are we going this way? Let's go ahead somewhere where there's going to be some light. <sighs> Alright. Sheesh, I think this whole video is going to be... Oh, I was about to say, I don't think you know that I'm recording you half the time. No. I was going to say. That's why I see that. Yeah. I think this is such a sketchy spot to do it. Shit, you want to go do it somewhere else? Fuck that. It's kind of sketchy out here. <laughs> oh boy. Huh? Down the street? Alright, bet. 
My boy mugging, bro. Fuck that, bro. I feel like we better get Jack. Not that I'm scared. It's just like, man, we just putting we just putting ourselves in. My boy, my boy is a he's a gangster from like the 2001 era. All right, let's go. Uh, um, what would be somewhere a little bit more, not as fucking hoodie. <laughs> Um, <laughs> dude, I got all that on video too. Is it recorded? Yeah. No offense to the people that live on this side, but man, dude, uh, I put new SS Moto rear sets on this thing, and the shifter sits a little bit too high now, so I keep missing second. Here, we're rolling out of there, boys. That boy was mugging hard. He looked like if I, we would have stayed there any longer. He would have shot us. <laughs> he would have jacked our shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to do a willy right now just to see. Let's pull up on this cop. Let's see what he says to us. See if he approves the willies. He might not. He might not. And then he might turn on his lights. To give us some light to do more willy, right? See, let's see what he says. Put my, put my visor down. Oh, they're cool. They're really cool. feel bad but see cops don't really care I don't know what that was about but he looked like an impersonator honestly later that same evening empty lot so at least we can see if somebody's gonna come rob us so we can have enough time because we gotta take our shoes off at least one of them this time I might be a little bit better I'm gonna put it up here all my shoes are ripped boys what happens when you like to do foot drags so here you do yours first or i'll do mine first but somebody needs to leave a shoe on just in case some shit happens <laughs> yeah so that way we're not both shoeless bro that was the most i have it on camera bro he was just me mugging us bro <laughs> that was hilarious bro that was the funniest thing ever but all right so motor core, where's the their card? Oh, I dropped it. I'm sorry. Right here. Molten core. So what we're gonna do here? You already put yours on? Okay. You, so basically, what this is gonna do is you you put it on your shoe, just like that. And technically, for the average rider, you would pretty much what? Just put your foot down, and traffic would think you're like the coolest kid on, in the block. Which we already did in one video, but we didn't really do a self like just this. It sticks out quite a bit, but for an average rider like you guys, you guys should be fine. Just pretty much just dangle your foot on the ground and let her eat. All right, let me put my shoe back on. Just let her eat. Uh, molten core.
Man, I wish we would have let it. Uh, it helps if you let it sit uh, for more than at least five minutes. <laughs> we we did it kind of like on and off, so it wasn't. We didn't let it sit, which that is what keeps it on your foot. Because when we did it for the Fourth of July, mine literally burnt off to the flush from just putting my foot. You know, uh, one of the coolest things about being a stunt rider was bringing my best friend into the stunt riding community and it just gave us another thing to do other than going out and drinking every weekend because that's what we used to do and it was expensive which this is expensive too but it's a lot more fun and more productive I, I, one thing i've noticed about stunt riders is everyone has started for a reason as in like their life either wasn't in the right place Boy, they've been going through some shit. <laughs> That's what I've realized about stunt riders. Everybody started stunt riding. Yeah, I've seen that. A dark path, and they, they've made this like uh, exit. A lot of people won't tell you that, but I've seen it, and I can tell just from people's uh, stories and stuff. Even mine. I, when I first started stunt riding, I wasn't in the right spot in my life and I just wanted to do something that could give me that adrenaline rush where you're close to death but at the same time you don't want to go yet <laughs> and this is uh, definitely the experience but once you, you do it the safe way it's, it's, it's a lot safer boys but that's what I've realized from a lot of stunt riders they're, they're, they're sad they were sad and then they got really good and hopefully they turned their life around and now they're just good and they treat this as a hobby. But a lot of the good riders that either just started or have started, uh, they're sad boys. They either they're, they were sad boys or they were uh, deep into some other stuff. And this was their getaway after they stopped the other bad stuff. Let me know if you guys, uh, what made you guys start stunt riding if it was any of those reasons or if you just wanted to look cool in front of your people let me know all right that's gonna wrap it up boys <laughs>